hello everyone before starting the lecture let me give you an update if you are not aware of that so we are giving the offer on our test fridge right on this 78th independence day so all the details you can get from mindspaneducation.com here you can click on this get da test fridge 2025 and here we have a special offer on the 78th independence day and this offer is limited till 31st of august 2024 so subject test will be starting from 90 rupees and all the subject test that will include complete 31 test that you will get at just at rupees 685 and the complete package that will be subject test plus 5 full full length test that will be complete 37 test and you will get it at the 870 Two rupees. So earlier it was forty per on forty percent discount, but uh, we have made till thirty first of August uh, of the at fifty percent discount. So if you wanted to have, then you can go through this page and you will get all the information about our test series features and about the price of each individual test and the package test price and what's the offer. and how to install our application and what's the schedule of our test and how to buy our test okay that is all let's start with our lecture hello everyone welcome so in last video what we have seen is that if we have some sequential process and let's suppose if we have some r stages in this sequential process and and at each stage stage we know that how many we have how many we have the choices let's suppose we are at the first stage and we, if we have at the first stage n one choice to make and at the second stage n two choice to make and if we have total of r stages then this number of choices will be there so this is what we have seen through that example uh, if we have to get the outfit like how many outfit with this possible number of choices we have so at first stage we can have four shirt to wear right and at the second step we have three shirt to wear three tie to wear from for each shirt right and at the third stage we have the two jackets to wear for each shirt and tie combination so if we wanted to know how many total number of possible outfit we can get from these then what we do is that we multiply the total number of choices at each stage right and it is it is quite intuitive right so last time we have all explained all this thing now let's take more example based on this so let's suppose uh we have given this set and in this set we have l n elements and all these n elements are unordered so and what we wanted to do is that uh we wanted to order them right or in other words we want to form the permutation of this n element so let me give you an example let's suppose if you have a set in this set you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 elements in it then how many ways you can order them what do i mean by this so one possible of ordering them will be you will put put one at the first place two at the second place three at the third place four at the fourth place five at the fifth place six at the sixth place so this is the one order that you are getting or maybe you will put two at the one place one at the second place and three four five six so on this is the second different order right so we wanted to know how many this kind of order if we have the six element in our set similarly if we generalize this if we have this n element total if we have n element in this set then how many total possible order we can get and in other words we have given the terminology for this is that we wanted to form the permutation of n elements right so we can think this counting problem as a sequential process how you how we can think let's suppose we have this slots right we have this n slots available so 1 2 
this n we have this n slot so in this slot and we have this n element so what we are going to do is we are going to take the elements from this set which is unordered and we are going to place them in the sequences of slot right so we are going to pick this element and we are going to put this here right so for this slot how many choices do we have so obviously we are going to th think this as a sequential process so for this particular slot we have how many choices we have n choices right we can pick any of the element from this set and we can put it here so for for this let's suppose i pick this element from this set and i put it here right and for this particular slot we how many choices do we have we have total n choices right we, because we can pick any one of the element from this set right so let me first of all rectify this one because i have written it here n sets it will be here n elements okay now once we have put one element here now uh, at the second slot how many choices do we have so now we are left with here with n minus 1 elements right so we in this slot we how many choices do we have we are left with n minus 1 choices right similarly at the third slot how many choices do we have to put in n minus 2 because we will be left here with n minus 2 elements here right and similarly if we have uh if we have reached at the nth slot we will have only one element from this set right and we are forced to put that one element in the nth slot right so what we have done here we have thought this as a sequential process so from the basic counting of principle uh how you can if i ask you what will be the total number of way to order them or how many possible permutations we will have if we have n sets in our n elements in our set so what we will go do we will simply multiply the number of number of choices at each stage so at the first stage we have n choices to make and at the second stage we have n minus 1 choices to make and at the third stage we have n minus 2 choices to make and at the nth nth stage we have how many choices to make that is 1 right so into 1 and if you realize this is nothing but this is n factorial right so number of ways of ordering an ele n element from a given set having n element will be n factorial so this is number of ways of ordering n elements that is equal to n factorial okay let's look at one example so we have to find the probability and we have given this experiment that we are rolling dice six time and we wanted to have the probability that all give different number so what we are doing is the rolling the dice six time right six roll of a six sided die and we have to find the probability that all give different number right so from here we will have the all possible scenario right or you can say from here you will have the all possible outcome or the sample space right and so we have to count this one and from that sample space that you have already counted 
the number of elements in the sample space which one is favoring to your event right let's suppose this let's call this ev as event a that getting all the different number right so from here what we can write is the probability of this event a is the number of elements in a divided by number of possible outcome so basically what we have to do we have to count right so at the very first lecture i told you that more uh, many probabilities problem or many probabilities model will end up to the counting problem so let me first of all calculate this denominator so number of possible outcome so a typical outcome for this kind would be maybe we will get one at a first roll two at a second roll two at a third roll and maybe four uh, at a fourth roll and fifth at a sixth sixth roll and maybe three at the sixth roll right so how many outcome of this kind are there that we have to find right so you can think this as again uh, as so basically we have to do the counting so you can think this as a sequential process so at the first stage how many choices do we have we have six choices right because once you roll the dice for the first time one to six may say koi bhi aa sakta hai that means ki we have six choices now again you you will roll the die for the second time again you will have the six choices and again you will have the six choices 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 right so how many total number of outcome of this kind will be that will be equal to the 6 to the power 6 right so this is the total number of possible outcome and out of these outcome how many are favorable to your event a that we need to find right let's first of all look at what will be the typical outcome for your event a so for your event a a typical outcome will be like this so agar do aa gaya hai to i don't need the two in any of next stage right because kya hai hamare event a mein ki sare jo number hone chahiye different hona chahiye that means ki agar two aa gaya hai to i cannot have two again in further stages right so maybe i will have three here and four here and one here and six here and five here right so now what we wanted to we wanted to count all the numbers of this kind right and if you see this is nothing but this is same as how many way we can order six element right so this is nothing but the permutation of six elements that are in the set right so what we need here is the basically a permutation of number from 1 to 6 right and so from here you can see like first at the first step you will have the six choices since number cannot be again the same at the second step you will have the five and the third stage four and at the fourth stage three and as the fifth stage two and uh, first uh, uh, sixth stage one that is nothing but the six factorial right so again this is same as how many ways we can order six elements so that is the if we have the six elements in our set then how many way we can order them is the six factorial right so we will have this kind of elements how many that will be equal to six factorial right so now we have all these two things right so from here we can find the probability of this event a that will be equal to 6 factorial divided by 6 to the 4 6 6 to the power 6 that is nothing but uh, 1 divided by 6 to the power 